Well guys, it looks like something came up. It's been three weeks and hopefully next month this will all be cleared up, but for now, it looks like we have an update on Chris Tyson. Because it was brought to my attention that it looks like Chris Tyson has put out another response. And to be totally honest with you, if you thought the last response was bad, the one that was made on Twitter, well, oh boy, are you guys in for a treat today? Because it looks like Chris Tyson has decided to make a video response and it's not exactly addressing what you think it most likely is addressing. So for anyone who happens to not be aware, Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast have been in a lot of drama as of recently and controversy. This all started after this creator put out a video exposing Chris Tyson and further bringing new things to light, in which I'm guessing you guys are probably aware of the Shad Man thing. If you happen to not be aware, I have like a whole playlist on what happened. So if you guys want to go check that out, it is in the playlist section of my channel. But anyways, a few days later, somebody had reached out to me claiming that they had found a video talking about some more pretty damning things in which Chris Tyson was accused of grooming a minor. We talked about the situation also in a video if you guys remember Lava GS. And ever since I put out my video covering Prism's video and it all blew up on Twitter, there has been so much new shit coming out against Mr. Beast and Chris Tyson. But I guess more specifically for this video, I want to focus on Chris because I mean, the things that we do know as of right now that have happened are that Chris's Discord server was not a good place, especially not for minors. There were some pretty inappropriate messages that Chris had said to some underage individuals, those of which you're seeing on the screen right now. These are only a few of what has came out. If you go back to my other videos covering these messages, there are links in the pinned comment with these full archives of the Discord logs that came out. And another bad thing about this Discord server was that Chris had NSFW channels in the server, which are like adult channels, like inappropriate content, like adult content in which hentai and other porn was being posted in there. And conveniently, while he had these in his server, he also happened to have underage individuals as moderators and admins for the server. Now, if you don't know anything about that and how Discord works is if you are an admin or even like a moderator, you have access to the special channels. And more specifically, if you're an admin, you get admin perms, which means you have access to every channel and all of the permissions for those channels, meaning that if there was an NSFW channel within that Discord server, all of the admins and maybe some of the moderators had access to it. And let me just bring this up again. It has been confirmed that there were underage individuals being admins and moderators in Chris's server. So we have the Shadman stuff, we have the inappropriate messages being sent to minors within Chris's Discord server, and on top of that, underage individuals had access to the NSFW channels where bad things were being posted in there, things that maybe you shouldn't be showing to minors. And you would think with the many damning allegations that have came out against Chris Tyson, you would think that, oh, Chris Tyson would at least try to address like a main majority of the stuff, if not all of it. And maybe Chris would have decided to do a better job of addressing things than the original tweets. But no, that really did not happen. Because for anybody who is not aware, recently Chris Tyson did put out that response video. And if you're wondering, well, where was it posted because it wasn't posted on their Twitter and it definitely wasn't posted on their deleted YouTube channel or actually when it comes down to the YouTube channel the YouTube channel a lot of people just assume that Chris Tyson's YouTube channel just got deleted or something when this all came out because yes they did have a YouTube channel that they were posting like behind the scenes footage and stuff on and no it actually turns out that the channel wasn't deleted what Chris decided to do was Chris renamed it to Chris Tyson fan page now the reason why I believe Chris did that was to sort of disguise it. I mean, given the controversy, it kind of makes sense. But guess what Chris has been doing on that channel, despite the controversy? Chris has been getting thousands and thousands of views, still uploading, by the way, reacting to things, and has not fully left their social platforms like they had claimed in their response to the controversy. Now, sure, many of these are re-uploads from past streams that she did reacting to Mr. B's videos and other things like that, but the fact that they are still monetized and uploading and getting thousands and thousands of views on it is just absolutely insane to me. Even though, let alone, we still have not gotten to the main point of this video yet, which is another
another response that Chris put out on this channel as of recently that has thousands of views and this video happens to be titled exposing the truth Chris Tyson's do you like kids allegation explained it's a one minute video and you could only imagine what it's about and no guys it's not about what you think it's about it's about something else now without further ado I guess let's go check out this video hello I just want to double check do you actually like kids what? yes I love it that is true see how many times are you gonna ask that do you watch them Ooh. yes true sorry would you date someone your age why would I do that no true hell no Okay, I mean, if you know anything about the internet and what the internet does after somebody gets exposed for like the most heinous shit ever, people start making memes like this. And it looks like Chris probably saw this floating around Twitter or something, really didn't like it, and decided, hey, I'm gonna go and debunk this, as if it really matters. So that's why Chris right here is playing the fake video, the one that showcased doctored information made by whoever made this video. And then after Chris shows the fake video, they go on to play the real video once again as if this matters hello i just want to double check do you actually like the taste of our new chocolate bars? yes i love it that is true see how many times are you gonna ask that okay it's just, i just had to double check when we post a video do you watch them Ooh. only if i'm in it chris what do you want from me true sorry what am i supposed to watch it without me in it why would i do that was jimmy a good roommate no that is a lie what he never cleaned up. Liar! Apparently Jimmy's a good roommate. Maybe I was the bad roommate. Oh my goodness. Do you think you're the funniest member of the group? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's me. My self-confidence could never, okay? So yeah, it looks like that's what the video was about. And apparently now it looks like Chris Tyson has vindicated themselves. Yes, guys, Chris Tyson has been proven innocent just by this video. I'm just joking because this is ridiculous. Like you're still here on the internet and then you're like posting things, debunking meme videos that were made joking about your situation. So you figured, hey, I'm going to go on here and debunk this as if it's going to do anything good for me. Like, no, this did nothing, let alone that it has 267 likes and the video itself has 24,000 views on it like the like to dislike ratio despite not knowing how many dislikes this video has has to be pretty bad because I mean even if you look at the comments of this video like they are absolutely eating this up bro dead ass telling us an obviously fake joke video was fake like it's about to save his career I mean exactly that's literally what I just said like this really doesn't do shit and I find it to be ridiculous Chris Tyson I'm 60 years old please don't touch me like i mean honestly watch chris try to debunk this as if it really matters as if it's not just a joke bro really changed his name to fan page to not get hate this guy is so desperate for attention what happened to taking a break and focusing on mental health and family exactly these are absolutely valid points to be making in terms of what chris is doing like literally just leave the internet please for your own sake and for everybody else's another comment here is calling out how this is Chris Tyson's actual YouTube account and Chris tried to cover it up but people are not buying it in which it looks like this person said the fact that this is the official Chris Tyson account disgusting yeah I agree let alone that Chris is still making money off of uploading these videos like it's pretty disgusting guys stop sending hate comments I can't like them all man I'm just gonna say it right now some of you guys are really hilarious in the comments like genuinely that's pretty funny Tucker about to be bullied for life man why would you do this to him yeah, that's another really interesting thing to look at here, given that Chris is very controversial and Chris does have a son. And I could only imagine what this child is going to go through throughout their life having to deal with things that they never did. Things that, honestly, they weren't really a part of. He just happens to be the son of Chris, so he's gonna get all this flat. Like, it truly is sad, and I wish the best for this kid. Now, with all that being said, that's all I wanted to talk about for this video. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. If you happen to enjoy the video make sure you like comment and subscribe because doing so will help promote the video more in the algorithm thank you guys so much for being a member to the channel your support really does mean the world to me and i really do appreciate it my name is brion hopefully talking about a normal topic sometime soon and i will see you guys in my next video peace <laughs>